In this tutorial, let's talk about the animated custom brush, or in the shorter way, the anim brush. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to cut a single frame custom brush, but you can also cut animated custom brush. To do so, you need first to create a little animation. So I've made some frames like this. And now I would like to cut these six frames and turn them into an anim custom brush. So we'll select them. I will use the cutting tool. And I will answer yes to the, to the question. And here we are. So I have my custom brush and this custom brush is animated. You can even see the animation of the brush here on the left. If you remember the previous tutorial about the different drawing brushes, we have always the possibility to change different connections and different parameters. We can do the same with the custom brush, so with the size, with the shift, with the shift, with the g opacity and many others. And you can also apply a connection on the animation from the custom brush. So by default here we are in loop mode, but I could use the pressure mode. And so the drawing will change following the pressure I have. So with a very light pressure, I have the first drawing and on the strong uh, pressure, I have the last image. I can also play on random or the speed. And so the purpose of the anim brushes is to allow you to make very subtle brushes, especially if you need to make some watercolor or some uh, pen brush or uh, oil painting. With the custom brushes, with the anim custom brushes, you can do so. Just to show you how we can go from uh, something very basic to something very better, just by changing few elements, just here like the pressure and some jitter, so the jitter will stem, just to show you, um, it, you know, uh, stem the brush uh, with a jitter and lower a little bit the opacity and use a random angle and use a random animation. I can also disable the step and here I have something very interesting. I can even enable the papers and have even more renderings. So here is just to show you how you can uh, go very far with the custom brushes. Another way to use the custom brushes, as I explained in the previous tutorial, you can use the custom brush uh, to draw, but also just to move an element like a drawing or a photograph or anything. You can also use the custom brush as more or less as a guide for your animation. So, for example, here we have this teddy bear's head. And I would like to use this bear as a reference for my animation. So I will select the frames and cut him. I will cut his head. Yep. And here we are. So now I can go back to this project. And now I can see uh, the animation of the head. So here, the fact I'm moving to and fro in the, the animation of the custom brush can be assigned to a shortcut. So I can, with a shortcut, I can move to and fro with a shortcut. And so what the purpose of this function actually, oh, let's clear this and okay, let's animate something. Uh, so by the way, I will show you some very interesting shortcuts to know, like uh, Z that works on other 
brushes. Let's tan the guy. Okay. And let's use the light table. And now let's use, for example, X to flip the X axe. I can also use Y to flip the vertical. And I can also use C to rotate. the character, and so combined with the light table, I can use this custom brush as a guide for my animation.